Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I am the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to talk to you about monitoring. More specifically, I want to drill down and talk about a very particular kind of monitoring. This is monitoring through weight statistics. We've just added new functionality to SQL Monitor to gather weight statistics. Now, why would you be interested in weight statistics? Because weights are all about identifying where exactly you're seeing slow behavior on your server, right? If you are seeing long waits for CPU, if you are seeing long waits for disk, you can then identify that there may be issues there. Long waits for disk could be the disk I.O. subsystem. Long waits for disk could just be very, very heavy loads. Long waits for disk could be queries that are running very long and that are using a lot of I.O., doing scans, that type of thing. With weight statistics, you can start to identify where you need to focus your tuning. Identify the things that are waiting the longest, fix those, and queries and systems behave better. Let's go take a look. This is SQL Monitor. We're open on the Global Overview page. And these are the servers internal at Redgate Software. And so I'm going to drill down on one of these and take a look at some of the issues that are going on. Now, if I open up the local machine, I'm first going to see some information about existing alerts on the machine. I'm going to see information about um, the loads that are occurring on the machine. Um, and then I'm going to see wait stats occurring. But I'm going to skip past that for a second. I want to drill straight down here into the top 10 queries. Now, we've had this before, and you can sort the queries by execution count, by duration. Um, you can take a look at them by physical reads, logical reads, all that fun stuff. We're just going to sort by duration, and we see that there's one query that's quite outstanding. Now, it's in a particular database, SmartAssembly. We click on that, and we can see the query and we can see the weights that are occurring on that query. So it's got a series of CX packet weights and page IO latch weights. Now, CX packet weights are an indication of parallel execution. They are not an indication that parallel execution is a problem, but they are an indication that parallel execution is occurring. And this has a large number of weights on parallel execution. But if you also notice, it has a fairly large number of weights on page IO latch. So let's take a look at the query itself. We drill down, we take a look at it. It's got a series of select statements, and then it has a WHERE clause. And the WHERE clause shows us an IN statement with a very large number of values. All GUIDs, all inside of an IN statement, all being cast to a unique identifier. And then a couple of other uh, values, WHERE IS NOT NULL. This is a problem query. This is probably a system-generated query. Uh, it's probably code-generated through an entity framework, uh, ORM, something else. And I'm going to have to go in there and take a look at that to identify exactly where this is coming from and exactly why it's doing a cast on these values, um, converting these GUIDs over instead of using a, a, an actual GUID value. Because between the in statement and the casting of these values, there's no way to capture cardinality, so I'm going to see a lot of scans across my tables. And those scans are reflected not in the CX packet weights, but rather in these page IO latch shared weights. And one of the interesting things about our monitoring tool is it gives you a quick idea what this is. Page IO latch share is waiting on a latch to read from disk into memory. So that is literally a occurrence where disks are slowing us down. And in this case, I'd be willing to bet you solid money it's because of scans caused by that query. For more detail, I can click right on that page IO latch weight, and it's going to open up a, a more detailed guidance. It's going to explain to you in, in very good, clear language exactly what a page IO latch weight is, why the share latch weights are. It's going to show you mechanisms for investigating the latency so you understand why you're seeing this weight and you're going to see how to investigate further into the I.O. activity to understand where and what's going on as far as your weights go. We've got links out to best practices, and it's just a whole series of things that are going to walk you through what to do when you identify these weights, how you can then pursue them, drill down on them, and understand them better. Now that's one way to look at the query and look at the weights, is to go down and look at the query. But what if, let's say we want to just look at the weights themselves. Let's see how many waiting tasks are occurring. Well, we've got a whole bunch of write log tasks that are occurring. That's not probably a good thing. Um, we're 
It tells us we're waiting for the log to flush to disk. Wait time is fairly high, but if you notice down here we have higher wait times even. Let's sort by it. CX packet. Again, we're seeing a lot of CX packet waits. Now we can drill down on CX packets and get an idea of the affected queries. Now it's one query that's causing everything. And the durations on that query are fairly high. The CPU time, the physical reads, the logical reads are through the roof. If we take a look at it, we're now going to see, guess what? It's our old friend. This query is causing some of the most pain on this system. It is hurting the system performance because we're identifying it as an extremely high wait time just in CX packet waits. We're also seeing it as one of the top uh, queries for waits. We are identifying serious and profound problems from this one query. So if we were to uh, find you know, a mechanism for making this query run faster, and there, and there are a number of ways you could do that, we would see a huge performance increase. Just like the rest of SQL Monitor, I can clear these things out of my way and rearrange the screen as I need to. Let's take a look at page IO lat shared weights because the waiting tasks is not very high, but the waiting time is extremely high. Also, notice uh, page IO latch exclusive is extremely high. Um, we're going to put focus just on the share uh, latches for the moment. I'm interested in seeing what's going on there. Now we could sort by duration, we could sort by execution count, or hey, I don't know, let's sort by logical reads since that's probably going to be a big issue in terms of, you know, shared latches would be logical reads. And oh my gosh, it's our old friend. Number one issue. Well, let's let's step away from that one for a second. We've got a second query here that's still hitting a lot of logical reads. Let's take a look at that one. Now that's a very simple query. Select count from feature reports, join on sessions, where session ID is equal to session ID, and um, and where the session date is greater than a date add getting the hour. It's hard to say what could be the issue here. Probably what we'd want to do is get this query plan handle and then go and look at the query plan from cache and um, identify why this is occurring. It could be because this calculation is uh, causing us to not get a good cardinality estimate. Maybe if we provided a parameter or a, a hard-coded value, we could see a better behavior. Hard to say. We would have to experiment with it to understand. But the real key is, is that once, once we've identified a query that we want to look at, we can go down here and identify other things. So we can say, oh, well, you know, maybe it's not that our queries are giving us problems. Maybe we're having a problem with the actual hardware. So if we looked at disk average read time and disk average write time, we would know better whether or not we're getting some, some hardware issues. And the way we do that is we go back over to the analysis page and we drill down and find disk average read time for the server that we're on. And we can put all disks in. And we can even add another metric and put in disk average write time for all the things that we're on, and we can have all those on the on the screen all at the same time. And I've done before showing you how to get the um, a baseline, put baselines on, be able to compare the baselines over time. I'm not going to get into all that today. I just want to show you that we can get in here and quickly identify what's going on, get an idea of the scale of the issues, um, go immediately to the things that are going to give us the information we need to then identify is the problem a server problem, or is it a problem a query problem, or some combination of both? But all of it is driven from the weight statistics that tell us specifically what is going wrong and where. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I am the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software.